Welcome to Easy Gluten Free. A few videos ago you saw me make that easy cream cheese pie crust. And we used half the batch for the apple turnover video. And the other half for the pecan pie video. And that should have been the end of the story, right? But wait, there's just a little bit more. It's these lemony pie pops. And from the photo, they look like a huge success. But looks can indeed be very deceiving. Let's backtrack a second here. In my last video when I trimmed those edges off the pecan tart, I was left with a tiny pile of scraps. So I formed them into an oblong mass and began rolling. And same as before, using sheets of plastic so I wouldn't need more flour, I started to roll this out. And it became pretty clear that for the shape I was looking for, I should have started my rolling in the opposite direction. But I continued to roll and square up the pastry and before I knew it, the dough looked too thin. But I saw it as a chance to really push the limits on this dough. So I folded each of the edges back in towards the center and rolled it out again, but this time not quite as thin. And at this point, I was expecting a cardboard crust in the finished result. But anyway, I removed the top sheet of plastic and flipped the sheet of dough onto a small piece of parchment then trimmed off the edges with my ravioli cutter and cut the large sheet of dough into two smaller rectangles. Then I added a small piece of additional dough where I would be placing the lollipop sticks. And I used paper sticks and I was a little worried they might burn, but they turned out fine. Now add about a tablespoon dollop of lemon curd to the bottom half of each rectangle. And you could use a homemade recipe, but I just used the jarred variety. Now spread it out and leave a half inch border around the edges. Use the parchment if you want to help you fold the crust over. Press to seal up all the edges and try to embed the stick. And I also sprinkled the crust with a little bit of yellow decorating sugar. Now transfer the parchment onto a cookie sheet and bake them in a preheated oven for 15 minutes or until the crust is golden. Let them set for 15 minutes before attempting to pick them up to ensure that the sticks are set. And I'm tempted to stop the footage right about here and call it a big success. But in all actuality, I could feel that the stick was loose within the pie pop. So I ended up yanking the stick and eating this like a pop tart. And as I ate it, I realized two things. One, I needed a new method for my pie pop since mine were a bit top heavy. And two, this crust is virtually indestructible. Even after all that overworking and abuse, it was so tender and delicious, I couldn't stop eating this thing. Now I'm not sure if it's the cream cheese in the crust recipe, or the fact that I used gluten-free flour, which lacks the gluten that regular pastry dough recipes have to avoid developing, but I'll tell you what I do know. This crust recipe is just fantastic. And if you'd like to read a few more tips about this little experiment, you could always visit my blog at the link below. And for brand new recipes every week, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.